Okay, here we got a 1964 Chevy Impala, hardtop, non-SS. This here is what we call a cream puff. Senior citizen owned, owned for many years. Uh, previous owner stated it has only had two owners its whole life. And it is uh, the factory fawn color. And she is very well upkept, very well maintained. Now she's not perfect, but she's very, very nice car. She's got a couple little paint blemishes here and there. Um, you know, it's got little pin size little ding right there nothing crazy um, it's got nice fender skirts does have a tiny little paint chip right here which I'm gonna color match the paint I'm gonna color that in so you probably won't even be able to see it anymore but I just got the car in so I just got done driving it runs really nice shifts really good Still has the original transmission, four-speed car. Does have sort of a small blemish right there. Not very noticeable, but it's there. Bumpers are above average. Driver quality, but in really good shape. The whole back trimming is nice on the car. Uh, let's see what other flaws we can find here. got a paint chip down here which I'm gonna paint in still has this factory protectant piece right here that is very hard to find this one still has it intact other than that that's pretty much it it's got a really nice straight body it's got original body panels uh, from what I was told this car never received any kind of body work uh, Body's really nice, it's straight. Let's take a look at the motor. I do have the original valve covers that came with the car to put it back to 100% stock. Those are the wrong valve covers. I believe this is a uh, 327. It's got an upgraded aluminum radiator. It does have a uh, power steering. But like I mentioned, it does have the original orange valve covers to put it back to 100% stock on the actual motor block. Got a newer battery. You can screenshot that if you'd like to decode it. The inside's really nice. Nice door panels. Very nice interior. Still has the original style shifter. The original, uh, I believe it's called a T10. Four speed transmission. Really nice dash. No cracks. Really nice uh, stock correct headliner. Courtesy lights work, you can see. Factory unmolested VIN plate. Carpet's still nice. Back seat's nice. No rips, no tears. 
Let's fire up the car. Emergency brake works. That's indicating the emergency brake is on. I got the car in neutral. Really, really, really quiet car. It doesn't have a loud exhaust or anything. But she purrs. Really good running motor. Check out the trunk. Trunk looks to be really solid. First thing I see is no, no patches right there. Usually a patch right there. Usually you see a patch right there. No patches in this one. There's some old radiator in here. Um, I don't see any signs of no uh, quarter patches or anything like that. I was told these are all original body panels. No body work done on the car. Still has old stickers. That's from 76. 1976. That might be original. Who knows? Everything is nice and solid under here. It's got the spare tire. Let's check out the bottom of the truck. Everything's in good shape, good body mounts. I don't see any holes, I don't see any signs of rust. Solid inner lower quarters. Check the floors. Oh, let's see here. Solid, solid braces. That looks to be original factory light undercoating. No rust under here. Check out the other side. Same with this side. Solid braces, solid frame, solid floors. Beautiful car. Beautiful, honest car. Not a trailer queen, but she's a cream puff. We'll do one more walk around here. Beautiful color. 